All right, today we're going to do a little video on the Royal Master TG 12x4 cylindrical grinder. Uh, centerless grinder, excuse me. Uh, we have it set up here. Uh, this is a, uh, a loading ramp for your through feed. This is a through feed operation, the way the machine is currently set up. Uh, you have your stock laying in here along these channels, and you get it started going between the two wheels, and it feeds on through the machine. Uh, there's not much more to say about this, uh, so I'm going to move it out of the way a little bit so I can get in there. So we have the Royal Master TG 12 by 4 and that means it's got a 12 inch diameter grinding wheel uh, by a 4 inch width. Um, grinding wheel being on the left and the regulating wheel being on the right. So uh, you have a, a fixed a stop here with the dial indicator and this is your fine adjustment for your in-feed. Above the wheels are mounted the dressers for the machine uh, to follow a template if you choose or just to dress a straight wheel. Uh, the hydraulic control of it, the adjustment of the diamond. Uh, we also have a readout for the speed of the regulating wheel. Uh, the speed of the regulating wheel is different when you're grinding as opposed to when you're dressing, so you do change it. Uh, I'm going to start the machine up now. This will start the two wheels turning. It shows you that we're going 54 RPMs on the, on the regulating wheel. Next thing we can start is the hydraulic unit, which is mounted in the base of the machine. Small tank back there with its own motor and, and pump on it with the uh, pressure gauge. This is the lubrication for the machine. You should give it a, a shot of this uh, every day or twice a day. And then you have your hydraulic dressers now. That mm -hmm. You can feed in and out. These knobs adjust the feet, the speed of the, of the feet of uh, the feed rate. And the top one. So we're going 54 RPMs now. As I as I turn this, it'll come down to a slower RPM or go up. <laughs> a little faster RPM. We have a coolant system and a filter, the uh, inline filter that I believe has a cartridge in there or just has some kind of a uh, filter. And that's about it. Machine is sounding good. It looks nice. I get a little light on that for you. 